good good morning everyone i hope everyone is able to hear my voice clearly everyone is able to see my screen can someone please raise your hands making sure that everyone is able to hear me yeah thanks thanks for your confirmation guys thanks for everyone's confirmation warm welcome to the workshop i will welcome to everyone to this particular workshop the title of the workshop is integrating spring boot with elk stack spring boot is one technology elk stack is another technology we are integrating these two frameworks that is what my today's workshop okay let me repeat today's workshop is spring boot is one framework elk stack is another framework we want to integrate spring boot with elk stack how exactly what is that and i'm going to discuss all these things okay so guys i want to make this workshop more and more more interactive okay some people will have an idea some people will not have an idea some people will have a not at all having any basic idea on springboard on elk stack or whatever it may be okay i will go in a basic level and i will teach to some extent to advanced level to some extent i am going to teach okay i sincerely request everyone i will take any questions you in the chat window at the end of the session only i will take it up okay even though you type i am going to take up all these questions at the end of my session last 15 to 20 minutes or last 30 minutes i am going to take it up even though you type anything i cannot take it right now okay lot of people i am advanced java guy i am a software engineer i don't know anything all these things okay i am telling you i will take up all these questions at the end of the things only okay kindly it's a humble request even if you type something on the chat window i am not going to reply to any of these questions i am going to answer all of these things end of the session the reason is i want to teach something and i will make this two hours workshop very 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 interactive interactive in the sense the participants who join this particular workshop they should get minimum knowledge two hours you are joining something knowledge you need to get that is the intention that is the intention of this okay that's what i am requesting everyone even if you type anything on the chat window i am going to answer every question at the end of my session and every question i am going to answer but not now at the end of the session i am going to answer right so uh, to start with that a small introduction from my side okay my name is vijay kumar i am currently working as a senior software architect okay a architect a senior architect i am currently working and i am having 15 years of experience okay this slide is updated 14 plus i mean uh, currently 15.2 years of experience currently working as a senior architect morning 2 hours and evening 2 hours morning 6 to 8 and evening 8 to 10 okay sorry morning 3 hours and evening 2 hours okay 6 to 9 and 8 to 10 total five batches i am currently working with naresh reddy my topics are spring boot angular react full stack these are the technologies i am going to work on angular and spring boot react full stack i'm going to take these sessions with naresh reddy this is a small introduction from my side 
if you have any queries or questions or issues or concerns suggestions anything my email id is this is my email id which i mentioned here kindly drop an email and i'll reply to your email this is a small introduction from my side okay yes we are going to uh, our workshop what exactly agenda what exactly the agenda here is first of all on a elk stack what is log analysis what are the problem with log analysis what is elk stack what is the features of elk stack and why companies are using elk stack so something like a small background on elk stack that is what i am going to give also i am going to give monolithic architecture service oriented architecture and micro services architecture so totally two different frameworks spring boot is especially a framework for developing micro services architecture spring boot is a framework which is mainly developed for micro services architecture so what i am going to take it up is i am going to one second guys i am sharing my entire things here okay i hope everyone is able to see my paint okay right so what i am going to focus is elk stack integration with spring boot okay so especially what is a spring boot means a spring boot is a framework spring boot is a framework to develop micro services architecture and elk stack is a framework to develop log analysis analog analysis tool elk stack is a framework useful for log analysis so two things now we are going to integrate this is spring boot with elk stack that is what my today's workshop that is what my today's workshop completely okay now here first of all i will give a small introduction about micro services architecture i will give small introduction about spring boot okay i will give small introduction about micro service architecture i will give small introduction about uh, spring boot and i'll give small introduction about elk stack then we'll focus on integration part then i will write a code it's a hands on this is not only theory sir this workshop is not a theory it is typically hands on i am going to write a code and i will uh, tell you on the analysis of the logs by integrating elk stack with the micro services architecture this is what i am going to showcase okay i hope everyone is clear on the workshop topic and what exactly i am going to present in the workshop okay right now first of all what is micro service architecture next to 15 minutes i will give small introduction some of the people you may aware some of the people you may not aware okay what is micro services architecture maybe i want to make interactive session guys okay how many of you doesn't know anything about micro service architecture sir i don't know sir can raise hands sir i don't know anything on micro services architecture 
okay it's a big number almost yeah it's a something like big number super yeah so that uh, the reason of asking questions is maybe can i go deep on that actually i'll go some deep level on the microservices architecture so what is a microservice architecture is okay microservice architecture is a design pattern microservice architecture is a design pattern microservices architecture is a design pattern to develop a loosely coupled system with high availability with high availability high cohesion and high cohesion so what is a microservice architecture is it's a design pattern to develop a loosely coupled system with highly availability and high cohesion cohesion means it's a bonding something like a bonding is called as a cohesion okay so by default microservice is an architecture it's a design pattern architecture to develop a loosely coupled system with high availability and high cohesion so what is a design pattern what exactly a design pattern okay by default a design pattern is nothing but typically common solutions to the problem for example what is a design pattern it's interview question for lot of people okay what is a design pattern what exactly a design pattern is nothing but an approach to the common solving problems an approach to the common solving problems that is called as typically design pattern okay an approach towards the common problems in every day in it industry problems are going to come if i have a common approach then that common approach is called as a microservices architecture okay yeah it's a design pattern is a common approach to the common solving problems okay it's a common solving problems guys my internet is properly working there is no problem here typically there is a problem who are mentioning here it is a problem at your end my internet is properly working and just like i took two uh, five seconds gap internally and don't think it's a internet issue okay right so design pattern is a approach to the common solving problem okay right so what is the common problem what exactly the common problem is totally we are having three architectures monolithic architecture service oriented architecture microservices architecture these are the three architectures are available okay so what is an monolithic what is service oriented what is microservices okay i will take a small example day to day example okay and i will make you to understand these architectures i'll take a common example small example in a day to day world and i'll explain you with that example 
for example sir a father got four sons a father he has four sons son one son two son three and son four something like that okay all the fa both father and four sons and their families all are staying in one particular house father and his four sons and their daughter i mean their sons daughters also complete a big family if entire family is staying in one particular house which is old days we are going to have a combined how we are going to have a house right a father has typically four sons and each and every son and their kids are staying in a particular one house that is called as monolithic architecture it is typically called as monolithic architecture which is a single unit sir what is the relation to that and this okay same like father has four sons i example in my example in our project we have what front end layer controller layer service layer data access layer business logic layer database layer all these are the typical layers okay all these are my typical layers like father four sons right here my layers are what my 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 divisions are front end layer controller layer service layer business logic layer data access layer and database layer all these are typically in one family i mean in one container in one container all are exist that is a monolithic architecture it's a monolithic architecture what they will do here if four sons and father is staying right what they will do here hall living area balcony hall living area balcony everyone will use that hall and call living area and balcony everyone has his their own separate bedroom that's how they will live their life here also front end layer is common for everyone everyone here having a different different controller everyone will have a different different service and finally database will be common for everyone okay finally data where is called, i mean database is typically having a separate architecture okay that is called as monolithic architecture okay next one is after few years definitely things will not there right everyone in one family will they stay they cannot stay that right they will not stay definitely problems will come right what they will do here on the same house on the same house they will construct two floors or three floors or four whatever it may be based on that okay father stays in ground floor son one son two stays in first floor i mean different different houses son three son four stays in second floor or else everyone will have their own floors building is same on the same house they will construct different 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 floors and everyone will live independently they don't want to depend i mean for example today someone is not doing work others are not doing something like coordination is missing so finally it leads to i'll take care of my work and you take care of your work that is called as service oriented architecture i am dividing my entire architecture into different different services front end service business service database service and like that i am differently i am separating the entire into different different circles that is called as 
service oriented architecture okay and micro services are still minute everyone will be uh, completely outside it's a completely isolated okay father one will stays in kukatpalli son one will stays in uppal son two stays in bangalore son three stays in us like that and their kids in one place and some completely entire family is completely spread into different 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 places and they will meet through zoom call or they will meet have a whatsapp call and they will coordinate that is the latest architecture today is, is a micro services architecture okay this is a typically a micro service architecture monolithic service oriented micro services so if all my entire architecture in one unit monolithic if it is separated into different different circles but the same house same unit only in that unit only will separate that is sova and micro services are completely distributed completely spread that is called as micro services architecture first example uh, maybe i'll take one example okay i am going to take one example banking sector monolithic application i'll take example of banking monolithic application okay if i want to withdraw money or if i want to deposit money okay if i want to withdraw money if i want to deposit money 10 years back just like 10 years back if i want to withdraw or if i want to deposit what exactly i have actually i need to go to the bank i typically need to the go to the bank okay either depositing money or withdrawing money because the banking software is only available the entire banking software is only available on the bank okay it is not outside only that software and everything is available there only every person has to go to the bank okay for example hdfc bank is having 1 lakh customers if 1 lakh people come for cash with or withdraw or deposit will they handle they cannot handle right 1 lakh customers are coming to bank will they handle they cannot handle that okay now in case of what they do, what they have done here they installed atm machines they installed atm machines okay atm mission in kokatpalli atm mission in amirpet atm mission in bhcl atm mission in opal something like different 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 places we are installing atm mission what i did here i exposed bank is exposing top four services withdraw service one circle deposit service one circle and i mean just like we have a, this um, statement mini statement right mini statement is one service pin change is another service they exposed four services bank is exposing outside four services they exposed okay one service is called as withdraw service another service is called as a deposit service and another service is called as a pin change another one is called as a mini statement so that from atm mission i can call my banking service and i can do that customer go to atm mission he can withdraw money he can deposit money he can get a mini statement he can change his pin without going to bank that is called as a service oriented architecture okay that is called as what service oriented architecture monolithic is one sova is this one now what is micro services sir i don't require not only four services sir i want all the things here okay like home loan 
पर्सनल लोन मार्टेज लोन एंड क्रेडिट कार्ड डेबिट कार्ड एडुकेशनल लोन all these things also i know i don't want to go to bank i don't want to go to bank for any of these things now what i'll do here i will create apps one app personal loan one app educational loan one app mortgage loan one app insurance loan one app credit card one app debit card like that how many services my bank is providing all those services are exposed on the internet anyone can use any service they no need to come to bank they no need to come to bank account service nowadays right have you seen in pandemic time if you want to open an account previously you need to come to bank you need to wait for lot of time nowadays you can open open an account with a online completely online process you can open account processing account creation is also one process one app one service i can give account creation account closure account operation savings account current account deposit account anything everything is a micro service so that kind of architecture is called as a micro services architecture okay so i have given you some brief background sir and in depth knowledge i am going to cover in my regular classes this is a workshop i don't want to deviate this particular topic to my real workshop okay so in depth knowledge i just gave you brief background on monolithic architecture sova architecture and micro services architecture so what is a just like recap of what i so discussed so far is in monolithic architecture everything all services are bundled into one unit that is called as monolithic architecture in sova architecture only critical services top services are exposed outside internet and remaining will be connected through the regular code only but in case of micro services every service is independent and we can interact all the services are dependent all the services are decoupled all the services are decoupled with high availability if one circle is having a problem the other circle will not impact if this circle is having a problem this circle will impact for example today home loan is having a problem only that circle only will be disturbed and remaining all circles will be working that is a typical case of micro services okay guys i clearly mentioned guys please don't mind if you type anything in the chat window i will take all your questions at the end please don't expect me i am going through your questions and need explain anything sir there i will explain you at the end okay that's what i want you can type sir you i mean i am not telling you to don't type anything here you can type but i am going to take all the questions at the last couple of minutes i am going to take it okay right so this is what i have given a basic idea of what is more micro services architecture something like a loosely coupled system high availability what is high availability at any point of time my system is available at any point of time if one service is having a problem all the services will be working and high cohesion and the dependency is very very less and high bonding will be there that is called as micro services architecture okay right now you got some idea on ea micro services you got some idea on spring boot very little bit idea i have given you in depth knowledge i have not given you as part of what is my workshop is required that much knowledge i have given you okay just like i explained you what is micro service architecture what is spring boot this is what i have explained so far now coming back to my elk stack here okay coming back to elk stack now elk stack means just like i am going to take care of it is specially designed elk stack is specially designed for 
centralizing centralize the logging what do you mean by centralize centralize logging means for example in day to day world ac is centralized central ac if you go to hotel if you go to movie mall and if you go to any other thing centralized ac i mean it's not going to we have a different different ac connections and ac will blow from only one unit and to all the section that is centralized ac right here also centralized logging that is elk stack elk stack is specially useful for centralized logging okay so what do you mean by centralized logging is okay if you see this particular diagram everyone is able to see this diagram right you need to read this diagram from right side to left side you need to read this diagram from right side to left side then only you will understand guys okay micro service 1 gives some log files micro service 2 gives some log files micro service 3 is giving some log files okay assuming that micro service 1 in computer 1 or vm 1 micro service 2 it may be on the same computer it may be on the different computer and it is writing the log to the different location micro service 3 is writing a log on a different location it may be same okay now logs 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 all are separated everyone is having separate location micro service 1 is giving some logs micro service 2 is giving some logs micro service 3 is giving some logs i want to consolidate these logs why i need to consolidate these logs for example in a banking industry saving account or else home loan one micro service personal loan one micro service car loan one micro service home loan personal loan car loan assuming that home loan will take care of home loan things personal loan will take care of personal loan things car loan will take care of car loan typically three micro services which is going to give three things three log files okay now my manager ask me today how many personal loans how many vehicle loans i mean how many car loans how many home loans came what is the success rate of home loan what is the success rate of personal loan what is the success rate of car loan he is asking some information what i need to do here i need to keep all these logs into one place i need to keep all these logs to one place then i can give these many home loans came this much of percentage success all are converted to home loan this is the percentage of personal loan this is a percentage of car loans this is called as centralizing all the log files are added to a common location micro service one giving log files in some folder micro service 2 is giving log files in some folder micro service 3 is giving log files in some folder all these three log files are typically combined into one place are typically i mean typically integrated to a single place and where we can analyze that particular logs okay so that is what till now i explained right side three micro services i gave you brief background now which is integrating with elk elk e stands for elastic search l stands for log stash k stands for kibana e stands for elastic search l stands for log stash k stands for kibana 
these are the three components okay e stands for elastic search l stands for log stash k stands for kibana these three integrated to elk sir what is e is doing what is anything is doing is typically is by default elastic search uh, in one diagram i mentioned guys i'll show there yeah so spring boot is giving a particular log file here spring boot is giving a particular log file that will be collected by the log stash it will be automatically collected collected means it is received whenever a log file is created log stash will collect that log entry and it will keep into the elastic search database it is going to keep the log file into elastic search database it's a no sql database elastic search e and i can see the log file in a kibana ui kibana console kibana is a ui part kibana is typically a ui part of that ui means i can see that okay without writing any code the main advantage is without writing any code i can see the log contents in the ui i can see the contents of my log file in the ui how it is going to see my spring boot is giving some log file that log file is collected by the log stash and once it's collected it is giving the information to elastic search database and elastic search database is going to collected by the kibana ui kibana is a ui any log file which i write i can see that log file in the kibana ui here i am writing log dot info order is created payment is success order is failed like this information i'll write right all this logging information navigates to it is going to produce in kibana ui so that is called as elk integrating with spring boot that's the mean typical meaning of integrating elk stack with spring boot let me give you one small again okay spring boot is giving log files a micro service is giving log file micro service 1 micro service 2 micro service 3 whatever it may be okay which is going to collect the logs from this particular place which is going to collect all the log files and it is going to send to log stash log stash is going to collect log stash is collect the uh, information and it is going to save that information in elastic search database which is a no sql database which is typically giving which is saving to no sql database and that information i can see in the kibana console you can see that information in kibana ui so that whatever i am able to write i can see on the front end portion where i can get the log file this is a typical business justification why we need to integrate elk stack with spring boot what is the purpose of integrating elk stack with spring boot okay right now here i'll go back to my topic here right so what is going to happen here micro service 1 is giving some log micro service 2 is giving some log micro service 3 is giving some log assuming that micro service giving in c drive micro service 2 is giving d drive 
micro service 3 is giving e drive something like that okay and i will log stash will collect all the logs c drive logs d drive logs e drive logs c d e it is collected by the log stash and it is going to send the data to the this particular information will be sent to elastic search database elastic searches database but the point here is log is a log file right it's a file system right it is going to convert into json format every log entry will be converted into json format and that json will be saving to the database and typically the json is going to have in the database so what i am going to say here log stash will collect the log file from c drive d drive e drive or different different paths different different locations and it will keep the entire log files in the same elastic search database and my kibana can read all these log files this is what so far a typical introduction of the advantage rather than going to c drive log files d drive log files e drive log files i can see all the log files in kibana ui okay this is a best advantage with elk stack for example if your 50 microservices are there 50 are having 50 locations and you cannot go manually each and every location right all 50 microservices in one path you can see that's a kibana path this is a best justification for best justification for what seeing all the log files in one place that is the best justification okay also in some companies they will not give production access half sure members some companies they will not give production access bits because some kind of restrictions they have okay they cannot give production access to all the okay they cannot see the log files they should not go to production computers they cannot see the log files for them this is the best place if i integrate with elk and i can see all the log files on the kibana ui in the kibana ui where we are going to take care of seeing the log files in the same one place actually this is called as consolidating are centralized logging all the log files in one place this is called as a centralized logging where elk stack is specially useful for centralized logging assuming that if my micro services are in cloud micro service 1 in google cloud micro service 2 in gcp micro service 3 in azure may be possible right it is in one cloud it is another cloud it is another cloud and what i'll go here i will install log stash in micro service 1 log stash in micro service 2 log stash in micro service 3 and all these log stash are point to one elastic search database only one elastic search in the previous example one lakh stash one elastic search one kibana now here multiple log stashes now here we are going to have multiple log stashes all log stashes are pointing to one elastic search and this elastic search is pointing to kibana this is a distributed system architecture where at least how many instances you have that many computers a log stash to be installed okay if all are in one computer only these three are sufficient but we have different different computers different different vm system and different different log files are going to come where 
we need to handle this we need to customize our logging based on our scenario this is a typical uh, integration part of elk stack okay now by default the main point is why we need the analysis what exactly the analysis means what is the meaning of okay non consistent log format all the logs are not same right guys for example okay tomcat logs this will be like this apache logs this is a structure ias logs this is a structure can you analyze if you different different services micro service 1 in tomcat micro service 2 in apache micro service 3 in ias possible right micro service is in java micro service 2 in php micro service 3 in dot net possible and tomcat will write log the link in tomcat format php will write the logs in php format and microsoft will write the logs in ias format so typically you need to integrate and you need to analyze that's the biggest challenge what we can think of it's a biggest surprise or biggest challenge whenever we are going to migrate whenever you are going to analyze with the different different logs time formats different different servers will give different different timings someone will have dd mm yy dd mon yy mm dd yy dd mon yy utc etc ptc lot of lot of lot of time zones it's a very very confusion for us to analyze on the logs why, why what is analyzing what is analyzing sir between 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock how many accounts are opened how many accounts are opened between 1 o'clock to 2 account or how many home loans are opened how much we got the money if at all if you want to know specially we need to write a, i don't know tomcat is writing a logs in different format apache is writing logs in different format ias is also having different format logs then we cannot achieve this all together we cannot achieve that that's why elk is taking care of consolidating and my one log file is in us region my another log file in india region my one log file in australian region different different countries different different log files and i want to analyze aws right guys aws do you feel aws right some customers are in asia some customers are in us some customers are in russia some customers are in africa some customers are having in different different locations we are going to connecting that is if micro services are not there it is going to be typically difficult which is going to take care of adding the additional logic and consolidating that that is what is the log analysis here guys there are other tools are also available apart from elk splunk gray log log entries some logic these are the competitor tools for elk but all are licensed services but elk is a not licensed service it's open source elk is open source anyone can download from internet anyone can download and install and they can use immediately they can use okay let me repeat here guys let me repeat here what i'm trying to say is splunk gray log some logic log entries all these are the costly tools but elk is a open source tool where we can use this log okay right now some of the differences i have given here guys okay and i'll go 
10 minutes on the typical introduction of these things then i'll go to coding part because i want completely theory i want to go within 10 to 15 minutes i'll explain then i'll go to coding part i'll take small five to five minutes five minutes five minutes on elastic search log stash and kibana these three tools i'll explain for five five minutes you will get some idea then i will take it up the hands on okay right now by default what is elastic search it's a search engine elastic search is a search engine if at all if you want to find any logs for example I want a error keyword in all the log files exception keyword in all the log files i have 50 my today how many exceptions are there in my log files today how many successes are there in my log files today how many threads are there in my framework today how much is my cpu usage all these things are search engine and search capabilities it's completely search engine as well as search capabilities it is a elastic typically having a search engine okay now it is having typically having where is taking care of no sql database and it is giving a library apache lucent library it is created search engine will have algorithm right google search will have some algorithm okay and some searches will have different different algorithms here also elastic search is kind of a algorithm which is taking care of lucent library guys my voice is clear to everyone guys i hope uh, maybe there is a typical problem at your end i feel that my voice is clear to everyone okay right now here what i am trying to say is elastic search engine it's a lucent library which is having no sql database and it provides horizontal as well as vertical scalable multi tenant capability multi tenant capability is also typically there it's a typically multi tenant capability is also there okay and it uses indexes it always uses indexes okay to start it always use indexes to particularly search the data yeah i think only one or two people everything is good it's a typically problem with only one or two people okay. right this i am going to have a kibana that is called as data processing storage as well as visualize Typically, a lot of people are asking. One second, guys. I don't have any issues at my end. Okay. Guys, give me one second. One second, guys. Give me one second, please.
yeah i guess maybe i hope everyone is able to tip, i'm i think maybe hearing him my voice clearly okay now what i am trying to say here is typically yes now elk stack data processing storage as well as visualization all these things processing storage visualization all these three things are in one tool okay so that is a point here and kibana is a ui tool kibana is typically a ui tool user interface where it is going to provide a real time analysis some charting and some debugging and i don't want to go into the ui part here okay by default from this you can get a dashboard like this if you see from kibana you can get a dashboard like this cpu is 80 percentage today 43 errors in my system average api response time is 200 milliseconds today sales is 162 sales and revenue like this i can bring all these things from my log files i can analyze the log files i can bring these kind of dashboards in my ui without writing a specific code here if i analyze my log files i can get these things here okay now here finally i gave you small introduction of elastic search and kibana the last component is a log stash this is a component what log stash is going to take is it is going to collect the data from different different sources it is going to collect the data from different different sources it is going to read the data from emails it is going to read the data from kafka it is going to read the data from twitter it is going to read the data from different different media streams it's going to read the data from different different streams and it is going to pipeline it is a pipeline tool it is going to collect any stream not only file stream if at all today iphone is released and what iphone will collect their data in the twitter how many people responded positively how many people responded negatively what is the advantage what is the disadvantage all those things twitters right today some political issue is happened mr modi told one thing and what is the response from the people twitter so log stash is a component which is going to read the data from various streams kafka emails charts and twitters linkedin different 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 things and it is going to read the data and it is going to save the data to the elastic search where we can search and query the things okay so this log stash is going to con it will take the data it will convert into json format or xml format or csv format based on your okay because kafka data in one format and google drive is another format logs are one format twitter in one format and you want to convert into some format this entire things will be taken care by the log stash log stash is a typically pipeline tool which is going to read the data from various sources and it is going to process the data okay just this is the only configuration i need to mention in which path i i'll get my logs the path i'll need to mention which path my logs are coming and what exactly you need to convert that is output some kind of pipeline configuration we are going to write i am going to explain in the code 
i am going to explain in the code now guys i am going to stop some kind of theory part now i am going to jump into hands on because i don't want to bore you with the theory now i'll come to hands on some kind of code part i will explain the code part then we can focus on later i will write a code and i'll explain you with the code and i'll take care on this further things okay right now here on the installation point of view by default if you want to install elk stack there are three urls are there elastic search dot co download elastic search download log stash download kibana you need to download these 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 three things from elastic search website okay minimum java version 8 java 7 if you have it will not work minimum should be 8 after that this is a website elastic.co/downloads where you can see elastic search kibana and log stash beats is another component we don't need to worry here so we need to download a zip file will come whenever you download elastic search one zip file kibana one zip file log stash is another zip file elastic search is one zip file kibana is another zip file log stash is another zip file totally three zip files are there if you extract that zip file installation is over if you extract that zip file you will have a installation that's it okay now you extract this by default i downloaded all the things guys okay so i downloaded here in c colon training spring boot kibana elastic search in this path i downloaded i mean i downloaded and i extracted to this path in bin file i have lot of batch files i need to run this batch file so that elastic search will be running okay to save the some time guys i already run okay if you see here i am going to focus on in c colon training spring boot kibana elastic search elastic search bin i run elastic search dot bat okay so that it is going to run and application is started 9200 port it is going to start 9200 port which is going to start so if i type here local host colon 9200 <coughs> you should get this output guys you should get this output when i run local host what i did here i went to the website okay maybe i'll type here google elastic search download you'll go here it will download it will zip file it will going to zip it and you unzip it okay after that you will get this file in bin folder you will run this batch file if you run this batch file 9200 port elastic search is running and if you type 9200 you should get this output you should this particular output that is called as elastic search is running tagline you know for search this is called as elastic search next one is kibana same in the url we have a kibana also so i have a kibana bin in the same kibana bill kibana batch file will be there that also i am running here so here you see here
सी ट्रेनिंग स्प्रिंग बूट किबाना किबाना डॉट बैट किबाना डॉट बैट आई रन हियर एंड टिपिकली इट इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ सर्वर इज रनिंग ऑन फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स नॉट वन इट इज रनिंग सो इफ आई रन दिस इफ आई गो टू लोकल होस्ट फाइव सिक्स जीरो वन सो दट इट इज अ लोडिंग किबाना यू आई इट इज अू आई पार्ट I have elastic search as well as I have kibana I have typically elastic search as well as I have kibana both are running now we'll go to the log stash before going to log stash I wrote three micro services guys I wrote three micro services I generally explain in my real time in my classes a stock market example i explained here okay in a micro service architecture i explained a stock market example this is my happens in my regular classes okay i created three micro services dv service stock service are integrated with eureka service this you should have some idea okay because i should write micro service that micro service should give some log files that micro service should give some log files and i should see those log files on the kibana okay now you no need to worry about that guys typically you no need to worry about that what exactly it is here i write some log here i am writing some log here db service get codes with the username this is a log entry i write in my micro services this is a log entry i write in my micro service okay just like i wrote some log entry in one micro service i write one log entry as well as i'll write some more log entry in the stock service this is a one more log entry in the stock service we are going to see these logs by default i am writing this log where i am writing here i am going to write this log in there is a folder my micro service is generating a log to this particular file c colon training spring boot kibana log elkm service dot log okay so c colon training spring boot kibana log elk m service dot log if you see here c colon spring boot kibana log elk m service dot log to this particular log file this entire things will come this is normal spring boot knowledge but what i want here i don't want to see the logs in the log file i will integrate elk stack i will integrate elk stack i will integrate log stash kibana and i will see these two logs i am going to see this log i am going to see this log in the kibana ui that is what i want to see here understand so for that what i will do here i will run three micro services guys i will run these three micro services so what exactly i am going to do is i am going to run these three micro services so that this log file should come here so c colon new elk i am going to run here three micro services here this is my code i'll go to eureka service in eureka service i'll go to so i'm going to write java hyphen jar 
I am running my microservice. Guys, you should have some little bit idea on. Right? Otherwise, you can ignore this. I am just running my microservice. If you don't have no idea, you can just ignore this because you should have some knowledge on this. Now, Eureka service is started. Those who are having idea of Eureka service, you will have an idea. Otherwise, you no need to worry about that. Next, I am writing my DB service and. I am writing here Java hyphen jar my DB service. I am running. Yes, my DB service is also running. I'll run my stock service. Sir, guys, I'm telling you some idea you should have if you don't have an idea kindly ignore because you should have a knowledge on these microservices ultimately what you need to focus if you don't have an idea on this some log file it is coming in folder i want to see in the kibana console that is what you can think of okay java iphone jar stock service dot jar i am running typically three microservices and three microservices are running. So if you see here, uh, localhost colon 8761, which is a Kibana is running this year. So which is running DB service as well as stock service. Okay, it is running DB service as well as stock service. It is going to run now. It is generating the logs into the elkm service dot log it is generating the logs all these are the logs which you saw here just know the log file came right 1229 just know the log files came right all these log files are written here if i want to see the log i need to come here i need to open manually then only i can see the logs right am i right now I don't want to go to this particular log. Now I run ELK, I run Elasticsearch, I run Kibana. Now I'm going to run log stash. I'm going to run log stash. The third tool I'm going to run. So let me go to C training Spring Boot Kibana log stash bin under log stash bin i'm going to run log stash minus f log stash dot conf here log stash dot conf will have a path where is my microservice is running where it should i should tell the path right that's what i mentioned right whether it's going to be twitter or Kafka or wherever the log is generating. Here I'm telling uh, log stash, go to this folder and read this particular log file. And my elastic search is 9,200. So this is my configuration of log stash. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this. So that what it done actually, it will go to this file and reads all the logs data and sends this information to Elasticsearch. And I can see the logs in the Kibana UI. I can see all the log files in the Kibana UI. Now you see here, it is taking each and every line it is reading and it is converting. You saw here. This is the log, it's converting to JSON format, right? It is converting a JSON format. For example, if you see here, I'll copy here. And if you see here, this is the entry, right? You will see this log in ELK service. This log is converted like this.
this log is converted like this this is a normal log log stash is converting this log into json format log stash is converting this log into json format this entire text is converted as a message this entire text as a message it convert into json format guys so entire log stash is converted here all the things are converted okay by default it is converted all this elastic search and it is converted all these things are converted here now i'll go to kibana where i have a option called as a discover you have a option called as a discover and i am going to all the log files you are able to see that guys c training elk m service dot log you are able to see the log file in the kibana it is going to see the log file in the kibana for example i want to search whatever the log file i just now searched right h2 dialect this is a keyword i want to search this log h2 dialect this i mean maybe partial stretch it is not going to happen something i need to search i mean it's a partial string right maybe that's what mind here yeah you are able to see that guys you are able to see the entry arg dot hibernate dot dialect dot h2 dialect this is i was able to see whatever the log i was generating i was able to see over here now i will see this log guys i will show you this log now whatever the log i added here whatever the log i added here i'll show that log actual i am going to show that log okay how to execute that log i registered local host colon 8761 api slash db service slash rest slash db slash naresh it naresh it is the username okay just i am hitting this first micro service rest slash db slash username and i am printing that username here db service get quotes i am printing that username here rest slash db slash nareshati i hit it now you see here you saw here db service get quotes nareshati you are able to see in the kibana in the log stash console now i can search this in the website i'll search what naresh id you are able to see that db service get quotes naresh id same log right guys whatever i am showing here same log you can see in the kibana ui are you able to see that that means i wrote a log and that log i can see in the kibana ui and i'll hit stock service also one more log file i wrote right that's a db service and i am writing one more stock service this one i am writing here okay local host colon 8761 rest slash stock service slash naresh it okay now you see here the second log is also getting generated here you see here stock service request you are able to see that 
stock service request now if i can find it here naresh it now here stock service request naresh it you got it stock service request naresh it whatever the log i wrote this is a log i wrote right stock service request naresh it that log i was able to show in the kibana console so this is where a typical integration guys who doesn't have a knowledge on microservices you may not follow this last 20 minutes guys you may not follow the last 20 25 minutes but what i recommended here guys what exactly i recommended some log i am writing to some log file and you can see the log file on the ui so that it will be understandable okay right and if anyone is interested on this further discussion i am going to start a batch spring boot batch i am going to start that is from 19th april on wednesday my batch is getting started my batch is getting started on wednesday guys okay spring boot and micro services by vijay kumar demo sessions will start demo sessions will start from 19th april wednesday 2023 timings 8 am to 9 am 8 am to 9 am wednesday thursday friday and saturday four demo classes i am going to take and i am going to start the batch from monday onwards after demos are over i am going to start the batch from monday onwards guys that is 24th batch will be started 24th of april batch will be started 24th of april my batch will be started let me repeat guys here 19th of april my batch demo sessions i am conducting the demo sessions agenda is why spring why ejb why rmi why spring boot why micro services entire things introduction about the spring boot and microservices then i'll focus on hello world application i will write a hello world application i will explain you the execution of how a spring boot with microservices will work then i am going to take the regular classes okay i am going to share the content and everything in my demo classes if you feel that my sessions are useful if you feel that my content is useful kindly spread the message to your all friends and relatives and colleagues and even attend the free demo sessions timings are 8 am to 9 am 19th april and you will get the details from naresh it website or you can get the details from naresh it admins it will publish you or if you are not getting here if you have any concerns or anything my email id is this is my email id which i am going to focus here which i am going to i am giving to everyone here this is my email id and i am going to publish all the details here i am going to publish to all the details over here right yeah now i'll take up any questions guys 
if you have any questions kindly drop the things i am going to take up all the questions high cohesion means cohesion means strong bonding bonding strong bonding that is called as cohesion cohesion means what strong bonding okay why is one second. by default yeah so high cohesion means strong bonding there is a top bonding between two microservices that is called as high cohesion kindly provide a notes guys i am going to give a notes uh not even now once my batch is the people who participated my batch i am going to provide the notes to everyone okay yes i'll take the things here in which file where you configure kibana and elk okay by default we are going to configure in logstash.conf the file name is logstash.conf i'll showcase here in logstash.conf file you will mention your microservices path and you are mention your elastic search you are that's it these two are the places where you need to mention the path of your microservice log and elastic search you are and remaining elastic search and kibana where you can run as it is i hope i have taken all the questions here any other questions guys anyone technology framework both are i feel that same sir it's the same technology and framework maybe small difference is there i feel that both are same in this context okay spring boot is a technology or spring boot is a framework elk is a technology elk is a framework so i feel that maybe in this context same okay currently my core java course is going on is this good time for kindly attend demo classes mr yogesh if you are able to understand demo classes then you can think of right first attend then attend demo classes then you can find it okay mr vishwa technology versus framework doesn't matter any difference very small difference is there maybe i'll cover this difference in my demo classes because it's a 20 to 25 minutes topic i don't want to i i will cover in my demo classes okay right any other questions by anyone guys did i not answered any questions guys don't raise a hand guys neha anything you have you can ping in the chat window okay multi tenant in elk it's a good question for example multi tenant means i keep a elk stack okay for one customer i am using and other customer is also for example i created a banking application sir i created a banking application okay for one bank elk is using and other bank also want the same then i can keep the same elk for other bank also multi tenant it can be applied for multi tenants elk is applied for customer level tenants level also that is what multi tenant yeah any other question guys any sort of queries or anything as of now i have taken all the questions from the chat window if i miss anyone i am sorry kindly report that yeah. 
same component yes same components multiple clients correct that is called as same component multiple clients that is called as multi tenant okay so i'll stop for today guys i wish you all the best for everyone's career and i'll expect you maybe if you feel like everything is interesting kindly attend the demo sessions and we'll we'll catch you on the demo sessions thank you everyone have a great day thank you all.